Hello there, Kyle Katarn here, and today is the big day, ladies and gentlemen. The Star Wars The Last Jedi teaser trailer has finally been released, it's celebration, and it's time for me to sink my teeth into this bad boy. I've been waiting a long time to watch this one. Without further ado, let's dive right into this. Nice. It's gonna be good. He speaks. Oh, that's an awesome shot. Look at that. Now, reach out. Hell yeah. What do you say? General Leia. Like. Kylo's helmet. Some bad happened here. Darkness. Tree. Balance. It's a Jedi symbol from the Clone Wars. Throwback. So much bigger. Whoa! Nice. Yes. I only know one truth. Oh, hell yeah. Plasma back. What are those? It's time for the Jedi to end. Wow, listen to that score. John Williams really put a lot of gravitas into that until the stakes are going to be high. December. It's really not a long time from now, but it's going to feel like an eternity until I can see this movie. Wow. Well, that was a really good trailer, you guys. Um, there was a lot to talk about in there. Let's start in the beginning. That um, first shot that we see of Rey, she's, uh, short of breath, looking very looking very disheveled. It reminded me a lot of Luke going into the cave on Dagobah, you know, confronting himself slash Vader. And uh, looks like Rey has just endured a similar harrowing experience. So she's going to get in touch with some dark things during her training here. Here's hoping. You know, raising the stones like that was cool. She's gonna become a force mad Jedi. Force mad. Kylo's helmet broken up. Something happened there. It looks like uh, makes me wonder: Is he gonna spend a lot of time without a helmet on in this movie, or is he gonna get helmet 2.0 and look even more badass? A lot of awesome shots of them training on the side of the mountain like that. Oh man, visually at least this movie's gonna be a real treat. I feel like you can say that about every Star Wars movie these days, but. Visuals are holding up so far, at least in this trailer. That was, um, we saw the Jedi Seal from the Old Republic and the Clone Wars. Um, haven't seen that in a live action film before, I'm pretty sure. So that's kind of a nice little piece of interconnectedness that Star Wars has really gotten good at in the last few last few installments in any kind of media. They're really good at weaving the story together. So we saw this, uh, like a, a, a white planet, could have been like a salt planet, maybe, maybe an ice planet with uh, some vehicles skimming across the surface. They looked a lot like uh, the natural technological progression of a B-Wing to me. Like, it's 30 years later, maybe this is the B-Wing Mark II, something like that. I don't know, they looked awesome though, either way. And I like the, the the red exhaust plumes coming up the back, it's very visually striking. We saw Phasma, we got a glimpse of Captain Phasma, pretty sure that was her, and that visually confirms that she made it out of the trash compactor, she's still with the First Order. Now. I read in the Visual Dictionary that Phasma's armor is actually made from recycled materials from the chrome parts of the Emperor's personal uh, Naboo shuttle that he had, um, which means that it's a very finite resource. And I'm wondering, did they just hammer out all the dents and like wipe off all the crap and just give her a new suit, or did they build her a new one from scratch? I think they didn't build her a new one from scratch, because there's not a lot of materials floating around out there for it, so Phasma must smell pretty bad. Um, we got a glimpse of a massive space battle and some brand new capital ships it looked like. They kind of look like Nebulons a little bit. And the Nebulon B, so maybe what, like Nebulon C or Nebulon D? Again, natural progression of things, although hopefully we're getting a brand new model of ship. We really 
that's one thing that uh, Force Awakens kind of fell flat for me, at least on was the variety. We didn't get we didn't get a whole lot of new stuff. Like Tie Fighters are still Tie Fighters after 30 years, just with a couple extra power couplings on the wing. Like I wanted more of it, more of an advancement with three decades worth of you know technology to, to play with here. Um, it's time for the last. It's time for the Jedi to end. That's what Luke said. Time for the Jedi to end. It's that. He thinks the Order is responsible for a lot of damage and no one is it kind of a no one should have this much power type scenario or is it more of a we're going to leave the Jedi behind us and transcend, you know, force roles and become a new a gray Jedi or something. I don't know. This trailer certainly gave us a lot to chew on. Um, I'm going to be thinking about it a lot, maybe do a more in-depth analysis down the road. Either way, this has been great. Um, thanks for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on the way out the door if you like. May the Force be with you.